What's up, YouTube? Today I got this 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace this hub assembly on the left rear. We're doing both, but I'm going to show you how to do one of them. It's the same on both sides. And the reason why we're replacing this is because the ABS sensor is bad and the sensor is built into the hub. Anytime one goes bad, the other one's probably right behind it, so I always suggest both. I let the customer decide if they want to do both. If they don't, then I just do the one that set the code. Today they're deciding to do both. They have a extended warranty, so they're taking advantage of their extended warranty, as they should. I would too. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. Now the first thing we're gonna do is get this caliper and rotor out of our way. I'm gonna show you on the back side of this bracket. I'm going to use a swivel socket because this little arm is in your way. Let me give you some light. You don't have to drop that arm down. If you have a good swivel socket, you can get in there. All right. Y'all know me. Mr. Electric Tool Man. All right. Now the top one. And the washer fell on the floor. I'll show you how I retrieve that. Mr. Magnet is your friend. All right, move your caliper out of the way. Gonna kind of let that rest right there. Now grab you a Phillips head bit. Take these two screws out of your rotor. That one was already a little loose, so is that one. Pull your rotor off. Now if it doesn't want to come off, just tap it a little tightly on the corners with a hammer. A lot of times that rust around the hub right there will make it stick. All right, now we got all that out of the way. I'm gonna take it up in the air a little bit so you can see. Back side here, you have your plug. Just press in on that little tab right there and pull up. I'll lean that out of my way. And you're going to have four 14 millimeter bolts on the back side of that bearing. Grab our suspension here. Grab that swivel socket. And these bolts are usually kind of tight, so I'm going to use my half inch. You don't have to do it like this. You can use whatever ratchet or whatever you can get behind there. Get out of my way. One. And just put your hand because that bearing will probably fall on the floor. I'll leave that resting right there. See how the sensor is built into it? And that faces upwards. Just stick that in there, reach behind the hub. Start your bolts a few turns. Start it. Now we can run them back down. It's going to kind of light.
tightly tighten them. Doing crisscross pattern. And I'll do a final lock down. Um, it's been a hot, hot day. All right. That's the wrong way. Holes are only going to line up one way. Caliber back on. Always do the top nut first. Tighten it down as far as I can with my fingers. Make that bottom one easier to install. Okay. Or with your caliper back and forth. It'll help you thread it in. All right. All right. Now I'm going to do a final tightening here. Ratchet. It's like that. Just put your wheel back on, torque her down. I think it's, I want to say 82 to 87. 90 foot pounds ain't going to hurt either. You know, sometimes you'll pedal or your piston will get pushed back a little bit when you take it off. So pump your pedal up. It might be a little soft at first. Put your wheel back on, torque it down, take it for a test drive. Make sure the light goes off. It should turn itself off. Anyways, hope this video has been informative. Y'all please check like down below. Y'all please subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.